What is up guys, early morning Kakis here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we have the complete breakdown of the brand new Season of the Chosen trailer for Destiny 2, showcasing a bunch of stuff in the background that I guarantee you missed the first time you watched this trailer and there is a ton of really interesting stuff revealed about this brand new season and so let's get Get started and the trailer is going to begin with the cabal showing up again they tend to do that and essentially Callus's daughter Cadel, I think it's pronounced comes to the Guardians specifically Zavala and Osiris and says look we don't like the hive either do you want to form an alliance and then Zavala does the whole I bow to no man thing and then we get into the interesting stuff. So the first thing I notice is this screenshot here. It gives us a great look of some new armor sets coming with this season, especially the Titan in the middle and the Warlock to the right really look decked out in Cabal stuff. It looks pretty crazy. I really wondered what the heck is on the back of that Titan. Like, is this a weapon? Is this a new exotic? Is this a tripod? Like, what is this? But you're actually gonna see this on the back of the Titan multiple times in this trailer and I think potentially it's just like part of the armor set similar to how the Warlock has the little balls so it's just something to pay attention to. But right after that, we get another fantastic screenshot. Again, showcasing this new Cabal-themed armor set. The Titan in the front is using a new bow. The Hunter to the left is using what looks to be a new SMG. And then the Warlock, at first I thought this was like a pulse rifle, but on closer inspection, I think that's a new linear fusion rifle. And you guys know my relationship with linear fusion rifles. <sighs> the fact that they didn't get a buff and there's a new one, bro, I'm molding. But also, so you'll notice that these guardians appear to be, as you can see, in a new area of the tower. And this was long speculated about, well, is this a new area or is this kind of the repaired area of the tower? Remember, the original tower was kind of blown up when Destiny 2 launched with the Red War campaign. So are we potentially going back there? Regardless, that's going to be likely a new interesting place you can travel this season. Right after that, we get this, and I don't remember this massive Cabal tank being on Nessus. So this looks to be a new addition. And this is actually likely part of the brand new strike coming this season. You can see right here, Breach the Moving Fortress. And that certainly looked like a moving fortress to me. And we can see some more gameplay of what that strike is going to be like inside that moving fortress, along with likely the strike boss landing right here. Then we got some real spicy, a brand new exotic bow coming this season. We can see here, Kind of similar to the Trinity Ghoul, this bow is shot and then it splits into three arrows and hits the three Cabal guys all at the same time. However, in some different gameplay, we can see the bow being shot and then as you can see, all three arrows completely 90 degree turn and lock on to this bigger Cabal guy right here. So not exactly sure how this is going to work, but that is very exciting if this can lock on to your targets because that could be a real spicy addition. Next up, we've got some gameplay from two returning strikes from the Cosmodrome. So the Devil's Lair strike and the Fallen Saber strike. They're being kind of remade and reintroduced in Destiny 2. So that should definitely spice up the strike playlist. Then we've got some real interesting new battleground activity and it says crush their champions. So as you can see right here, we're actually on Europa and then we've got these searchlights and the new kind of seasonal symbol displayed almost like the Batman symbol in the sky and a bunch of cabal everywhere. So this is potentially a patrol kind of activity similar to escalation protocol where you can just kind of show up and fight in this event. But we've got some crazy stuff shown off in this gameplay. So firstly, when the Guardians are jumping in, that pulse rifle looks very familiar. I think that's the messenger for Trials of Osiris coming back. We're going to get a much cleaner screenshot later on. But additionally, we see kind of a new rocket launcher being used here. 
And then the first person perspective of that new SMG, I think that I pointed out earlier. Then right after that, ooh, that is some. This is definitely a new Trials of Osiris hand cannon being used here. We know that Trials of Osiris is getting a refresh uh, this season with brand new weapons to earn, and this looks to be one of those things, and that looks pretty darn clean. Then we get a great screenshot right here of the Titan using the Shadow Pricer Prince, but it's the auto rifle from Destiny 1 returning, and this is actually going to be a strike weapon, and you can get the adept version of this auto rifle from doing the Grandmaster, so great view of that here. Next up, we have this warlock using a sword, but this is definitely a caster frame sword. Either this is the one that we already have in the game with a new shader being used, or a new caster frame sword is entering the game and, you know, with some unique perk combos, that could be very interesting, giving swords a long range capability. And in the background, the searchlights are back, so this is gonna be the location of likely another Battlegrounds event in the Cosmodrome. Then we've got this Titan, and it's using some pretty spicy armor. This could be like the Season's Pass armor or something like that, but I love the look of that. Also got some crazy, like, bull gauntlets there as well. Like, this armor set is absolutely wild, and or we're potentially seeing an exotic being used here. Then as we move on from there, we kind of have a mishmash of gameplay, like a few seconds of a bunch of different things. So firstly, we have some Guardians showing off with some brand new emotes. It definitely looks like here. Next up, we've got, I think, a new armor set as well as the Shadow Price making its appearance again. Right after that, we have a really interesting piece of gameplay right here. Uh, so we actually see a Guardian using a Cabal Shield, as you can clearly see. So likely, if I was to guess, this is a strike mechanic. So in that new strike, you can pick up like a Cabal Shield and use it as a melee weapon. I don't think this is gonna be like a new exotic or anything like that, but could be crazy if it is. Moving on from there, we have something totally crazy, but I might be losing my mind. We have this Titan here, this Behemoth Titan, and as you can see, when it activates its super, it's using both fists. Like, you can clearly see that both of the fists are engulfed in ice. And I'm pretty sure that only one is engulfed in ice when you're using it right now. And this is something that we kind of saw in the original Beyond Light trailers, but wasn't actually in the game. And then it came out that Bungie said, hey, we're actually going to be adding more aspects throughout year four. So this could actually be a tiny preview of one of those new aspects. So potentially you're gonna have more customization and God forbid, but more power added to your stasis subclasses coming with season 13. So that's actually pretty crazy if that's true. Then we have this screenshot here and we finally get to see this swarm. This is similar to the Shadow Price, a machine gun from Destiny 1 and this is another strike weapon. And we also have a stasis warlock doing a seemingly unusual melee attack too. Maybe I'm reading too much into that, but that could be something to look at as well. Moving on from there, I promised a much cleaner screenshot of the Messenger Trials of Osiris Pulse Rifle, originally from Destiny 1, being remade in Destiny 2, and here it is. Like, you definitely have a lot of the trademark features of that weapon. Maybe it's just a new ornament for the Vigilance Wing again, uh, but this really does look like the Messenger to me. As we continue forward, we have this screenshot on Nessus, but we have that same kind of cert cabal searchlight that we saw earlier on Europa. So it seems that that Battlegrounds activity is in multiple places, including Nessus. And then, as we continue forward, we have a great screenshot here of the Palindrome. So this is the third of those Destiny 1 weapons being made into strike weapons, and this was a very iconic and good hand cannon, so interesting to see this return. Then, just as the trailer is about to end, we hear Osiris say, like, there's no light here, showcasing an ominous Cabal ship, and then this flashes, 
bro, what, what the heck is this? So this could be maybe a new like enemy unit or something crazy. Maybe I'm just misremembering. This looks almost like scorn ish, but this is apparently something that we may be facing coming in this new season. Guys, that is it for the trailer breakdown. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content so much as this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.